folks, Sander here, and welcome back on board Potemkin. Um, I'm just going to show you the now about top boxes that I make. I've just been making some for customers. Um, so this is a 1200 square now we've got top box. Um, got a popular size. So the size of the 1600 long, that's very popular. But they can be any size width you require. So we've got a nice strong top cover on. Shop cords, tensions, adjustable feet there, they tilt. So just to show you how these go together, this and uh, what they're about. Uh, I have made quite a few and uh, they are quite popular. I think I've got about six at the moment to make. So we're going on with them. So just to show how easy they are to put together and uh, how much storage you can actually get in them. Okay, let's get on. Folks, just clear the, the bench off and uh, we'll get it put together. So these just will feet fit in the bottom of that. And you put them in now or you can leave them out. I'm just going to put them in and then you can see what they are. Right. So that's that. Just my feet in. Just screw them up to the nut and they're all the same height then. ones if you see there there's the fall on it the angles the same as this so that's that side you can't get them so if you got them wrong they look like that that's the other side so self-explanatory really so I'll flip them under there Around, then put it under. So that's that. That goes under there. That's level now. And we're sticking three up. And we're going to drop three screws in there. So that's those done, they'll be glued, screwed from the outside, they're level, that's all you've got to do is level, line that top edge up. The bottom edge will then be slightly below, sorry, the bottom edge of the uh, cod piece will slightly be below the bottom edge of the uh, side panel, which is what we want like that. So, that's how they are. Right, next thing we do is we're going to attach the four panels together. So, this is the end panel. together, pull this back out of the way of it, so we've got the end panel to put on now, so we can put a blank here out here. Right folks, this is what we have now internally. 
There are the corners. So, looking good. Outside. There we go. Right. Next. The next thing is to put the uh, lats in. So we'll get them. And, uh, I'll just get it tripod up there so we can see in. Okay. So we've now we've dropped these uh, lats in the base. So there is to it. Drop them in. Space them out. Uh, there's plenty of oh, the gap. There's plenty of airflow in here, so the air will come underneath, all, well, all around the airflow, will we'll, uh, you know, get plenty of airflow in here. So you're not going to get much condensation, if any at all, because it's nice and open. Right. And if you're storing bits of wood in here, it's going to um, it's going to dry out for the fire, you know, over time. Um, it comes like this, they are strong, they'll hold up quite a lot of weight. So all we do then is, they are all pre-drilled, and you're just going to drop two screws in each one. And these end pieces, just line them up where you want. So. And these end pieces have screws down the length, so they're going like that, couple in the end, and just screw them down. I'm not going to screw them all in because they're coming out, so that's it. What's that? It's uh, not in five minutes, is it, to screw them in? So that's that. can supply them with uh, plywood bottoms if you want but if you come if they come like that and then uh, you just if you want to make it fl you know a flat bottom um, for whatever reason then you can just lay some bit of board in it whatever you want so it's fine, some scrap board or something you know it's not a big expense but you can do with them what you want but as they are now they're very useful and you can store whatever you want in them and uh, found out that they work well so people always seem to, uh, you know, say they're good. So that's that. I'm not going to screw them in. So the next thing is, I'm going to put. I'll just put one in just to show you. These are the corner blocks, right? So these are. You've got your six screws in there. They're all tight. The, the glued up corners and then we've got the corner blocks so with these again we glue down this internal corner and this it like that and then these screws go all the way through into the thick corner uh, post so that then glued in that's all glued that's glued it's all in tight it's a very good strong joint so well, again all we do with that is we screw those in I'll just show you the final screw there so, here we are so we're going to screw that in there if I've got the right size bit. the right side, it's just a cheap one, garbage. There we go, we'll stick another one in. 
that. So, four corners there, and uh, that's that done. So, that's another five minutes. So, very quick. That's probably taken us to screw all those down, put the corner blocks on and everything. Well, we're probably into 20 minutes or something from the start now, so it's not hard. That's not going to take you long. That's with a cordless. Most people have a cordless now, but you don't need one, like I've said. You need a screwdriver. So the next thing is to, uh, is to put... We've probably taken uh, 20 minutes so far to do this, if that, maybe 15. So the next thing is to put the cups on the outside that to tension the shock cord for the top cover. And uh, not much more to do. So here we are, we're going to put the cups on now. That's your cup, it's a little T shaped thing. And you get one screw, one screw, one cup. Put it through the middle. The holes are pre drilled. in there. There we are. So we're going to go round and we do all that all the way around. But I'm not going to go down and show them all. So. so the top box is together. No glue is screwed up. All the cups are round. So all that's left now is the top cover. Tension up, so they hook all the way around, and there you've got your joint one for uh, slackening it off. You don't really need to undo that, you can just get enough play in these. They're not tight yet, but that's what they'll be like, and you just unhook them like that. So. And that's uh, That's it really, that's all it takes to put one together. Now, it is bare timber, it needs a finish on it. So you can either just lacquer it if you want it this colour, an exterior lacquer on it, varnish like, uh, you know, boat varnish or something. Lacquer it all over. You've got to, you've got to lacquer it. You can't just put it on like this. You've got to put a finish on it. Right. You can just lacquer everything. Try bar and everything. You don't have to lacquer the lats or anything. They're, they're, um, they're tantalised, so you know they'll last forever. Those they're finished. They've got the finish already in them. The rest of it will need lacquering. Now people, um, so I don't have to match the bolts in a way with the colours. So all you need. Finish you can use would be something like this, this five year uh, run seal fence life plus five year protection for rough sawn and smooth timber. Now, this has been used on the uh, top boxes about three years ago and it's still in great condition, you know. So, um, I don't finish them for people, these were finished because I use them, so I use this stuff. But it's all you need, something like that. A different make, you get the wicks makes or whatever, anything. As long as it's, uh, got, they've all got something like a five year guarantee. There's one called Duck Back, Duck's Back, which uh, I don't know if that's Coupinol or something, one of the big brands. 
and I think that's about 10 years. So you've got a 10 year coating on it, you know. I mean, you can uh, freshen them up every couple of years, it's entirely down to you. But uh, they're not going to rot these much, because that's a good quality. Well, it's exterior birch ply. You're going to put this on, that cover <laughs> obviously takes the majority of the uh, weather on it. And uh, as it would only ever run down, it, there's nowhere for water to stay and, uh, you know, settle and then rot or anything like that. It's, uh, it just runs off. So if you've got this, you're not going to have problems for years. That's it folks, that's how to assemble one of the top boxes, so I can make them any size you require, you can make them flat on the top, you don't have to have the apex, you can just have a deep box, you can have a shallow box, you can have anything you want, right. as I said I made them for wide beans, really wide, massive things, right. you know, goodness knows what you can store in them, but it's a lot, but uh, in fact we'll just have a look in here and see if Forgot what the dimensions are. Right. So externally, outside of those posts, outside of that post, it's 1200. Bang on. That is 1200 that way. Right. To Sort of the most popular sizes are the 1200, 1200, or the 1600 long by 1200 wide. But, uh, I've done them up to 2400 long, so that's a big box. <laughs> right. So externally, the standard heights uh, 370 mil high, 37 centimeters. On the ends, 270, 27 centimeters. Right. So to, I've been asked to make these lower and I've been asked to make them higher. You can make them however you want them. Internally, that's uh, 1100, 110 centimetres or 43 inches. And say on that side because it's a square. Internal height at its shallowest is uh, 100 and, well, say 180 mil, seven inches. And the height to the top internally is 260. That's the top of there. So that's the top of the bar, 260, 10 inches. The underside of the bar is 200. 20 centimetres or 8 inches. So that's your internal measurements. So that, that is quite a lot of storage that you can get a load of stuff out that you don't need in your boat. It's uh, on the top. So out the way. Obviously, you're not going to put gold bars in there or anything. But uh, the stacks of stuff we'll carry on the boats that we can do we out the way. So. So, these are my top boxes. Should you want one, just contact me. I'll put a link to an email or something. And uh, that's it, folks. Time to go home now. And it's uh, nearly tea time, so we'll call it today. And. Uh, Hopefully the next one will be on the boat installing some new uh, the new side hatches. I've got two finished now, so we'll do an external vlog on that. But anything timber-wise, steel-wise, I can make. All right, bye.